Hi students, so this session I am explaining about chemical formulas. How to write the chemical formulas? So to write the chemical formulas, first of all we have to focus about positive recharge ions and negative recharge ions. After getting the ions, we may write easily chemical formulas by using criss-cross method. Ions. Charged particles are called ions. Ions are two types, positively charged ions and negatively charged ions. Again, positively charged ions are again classified into some different types. Look at first one, mono-positively charged ions. An element loses only one electron, then it forms mono-positively charged ion. Look at an example, H plus hydrogen ion, lithium ion Li plus, sodium ion Na plus, potassium ion K plus, rubidium ion Rb plus, cesium ion Cs plus, cuprous ion Cu plus, argentus Az plus, Aras, so that is called gold Au plus, etc. So these are having only one positive charge, that's why they are called mono-positively charged ions. Look at now, second one, di-positively charged ions. An element loses two electrons, then it forms di-positively charged ions. Look at an example, beryllium ion Be plus 2, magnesium ion Mg plus 2, calcium ion Ca plus 2, strontium ion Sr plus 2, barium ion Ba plus 2, radium ion Ra plus 2. So these are all two A group elements, alkaline earth metals. So they can form di-positively charged ions. And not only these elements, and some of the D block elements, manganese ion Mn plus 2, nickel ion Na plus 2, ferrous ion Fe plus 2, cupric ion Cu plus 2, because already in mono positive ion this is cuprous ion Cu plus, this is cupric ion Cu plus 2. If an ion having two charges, lower oxidation state or lower charge indicates a ion and higher oxygen state or highly positive charged ions are called as eak ions. So this is cuprous ion, this is cupric ion. Now, zinc ion ZM plus 2, etc. Look at now, tri-positively charged ions. An element loses three electrons. It forms tri-positively charged ions. Look at an example. Aluminium ion Al plus 3, chromium ion Cr plus 3, ferric ion Fe plus 3. Here Fe plus 2 is there, that is called ferrous ion. Here Fe plus 3 is there, ferric ion. So, less oxygen state of ion indicates us state. And higher oxygen state of the ion indicates eak state. So, less oxygen state is called us higher oxygen state is called eak. So, this is ferrous Fe plus 2. This is ferric Fe plus 3. CO plus 3, cobalt ion. Au plus, previously we have discussed about Au plus. This is Aras ion. This is Aric ion. Au plus is less positive. Au plus 3 is high positive. That's why Au plus is called Aras ion. Au plus 3 is called Aric ion. An element loses 4 electrons. It forms tetra positively charged ions. Look at an example, Pb plus 4, plumbic ion, Sn plus 4, stannic ion. An element gains electrons, it forms negatively charged ions. Suppose an element gains one electron, it forms mono negatively charged ion. An element gains two electrons, it forms di negatively charged ion. An element gains three electrons, it forms tri negatively charged ion. An element gains four electrons, then it forms tetra negatively charged ions. See here. Mono negative, di negative, tri negative, and tetra negatively charged ions. Now look at that negatively charged ions. An element gains electrons, it forms negatively charged ions. Suppose look at for first one, mono negatively charged ions. An element gains one electron, it forms mono negatively charged ions. Look at an example, hydride ion H minus, fluoride ion F minus, chloride ion Cl minus, bromide ion Br minus, iodide ion I minus, etc. Radical ions. Group of atoms having net charge either positive or negative are called radical ions. Look at now some important negatively charged radical ions. Bicarbonate ion HCO3 minus, bisulfite ion HSO3 minus, bisulfate ion HSO4 minus, hydroxide ion OH minus, nitrite ion NO2 minus, nitrate ion NO3 minus, cyanide ion CN minus, thiocyanate ion SCN minus. Hydrogen sulfide ion HS minus, hypochlorite ion ClO minus, chlorate ion ClO2 minus, chlorate ion ClO3 minus, perchlorate ion ClO4 minus. So these are the most important negatively charged radical ions. And here two mono positively charged radical ions also are possible. First one is ammonium ion NH4 plus and second one is phosphonium ion PH4 plus. These two are positively charged radical ions. Next, di-negatively charged ions. An element gains two electrons, it forms di-negatively charged ions. Look at an example. 
oxide ion O minus 2, sulfide ion S minus 2, peroxide ion O2 2 minus 2. So these are free ions. Now radical ions, carbonate ion CO3 minus 2, sulfite ion SO3 minus 2, sulfate ion SO4 minus 2, oxalate ion C2O4 minus 2, dichromate ion Cr2O7 minus 2, thiosulfate ion S2O3 minus 2. So not only these, some other examples are there. So these are the best example for dinegatively charged ions. Look at some examples for trinegatively charged ions. Nitride ion N3 minus, phosphide ion P3 minus. So trinegatively charged radical ions. Phosphite ion PO3 3 minus. Phosphate ion PO4 3 minus. So, so many other examples are there, etc. To write chemical formulas, we have to follow three rules. First rule, we have to write the positively charged ion and negatively charged ion. And in second step, we have to crisscross the charge values. And third step, we have to write a simple formula. Look at an example, calcium chloride. In calcium chloride cation is calcium, its charge is 2. Chlorine, chloride ion actually is Cl minus. So, valence of chlorine is 1. And again write down Ca, Cl. So, calcium valency transfer to chlorine. And chlorine valency transfer to calcium. That's why the formula of calcium chloride is CaCl2 and look at second example potassium sulfate potassium symbol is K its charge is 1 sulfate SO4 2 minus now write down again now sulfate ion charge is 2 that's why this 2 transfer to potassium ion and potassium valency transfer to sulfate ion formula for potassium sulfate is K2SO4 and look at third one, zinc phosphate, zinc charge is 2 and phosphate ion PO4 3 minus, that's why the charge of phosphate ion is 3. Write down again, phosphate ion charge is transferred to zinc and zinc charge is transferred to phosphate ion. So formula for zinc phosphate is ZN3PO4 taken twice. Zinc phosphate chemical formula is ZN3PO4 taken twice. Zinc phosphate is called rat poison or rat killer. Look at first one. Potassium ferrocyanide. Potassium valence is 1. Ferrocyanide and FeCN taken 6 times power 4 minus. This is tetra negatively charged ion. Now write down again. K FeCN taken 6 times crisscross these charges. So here 4 is there. So that's why you can write 4 and here 1 is there. So cross the value and 1. So the formula for potassium ferrocyanide is K4FeCN taken 6 times. This is the formula for potassium ferrocyanide. Look at next one. Aluminium sulfate. Aluminium charge is 3. Sulfate ion is SO4 minus 2. So write down again Al SO4 crisscross these charges. So aluminum valence, aluminum charge transfer to sulfate ion and sulfate ion charge transfer to aluminum. That's why the chemical formula for aluminum sulfate is Al2SO4 taken thrice. Look at now next one. Ammonium acetate. Ammonium radical ion is NH4 plus so its charge is 1. Acetate ion CH3 COO minus so its charge is also minus 1. Ammonium ion is positively charged mono radical ion. Estate ion is CH3 CO minus negatively charged mono radical ion. So both the ions having mono charges. So write down again NH4 CH3 CO so cross the charges. So NH4 1 CH3 CO 1. So nothing but its formula is CH3COONH4. So this is the formula for ammonium acetate. Now calcium acetate. Calcium is dipositively charged ion. So Ca power 2. Acetate ion CH3COO. Its charge is 1. Write down again Ca CH3COO. So these two ions charges will be crisscross. That's here 1 and here 2 will come. So we can write easily 
CH3 CO were taken twice CA. So this is the formula for calcium acetate. And third one, potassium oxide. Potassium is monopositive with its ion. Oxide ion is C2O4 2 minus. That's why this is a negative radical ion. Write down again K C2O4. So these charges will be crisscross. So here K2 C2O4 1. So potassium oxide formula is K2C2O4. So by using this crisscross method, we may write any chemical formula. If you don't subscribe my channel, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.